So I think everyone's done that, where they kind of have a bit of a phase where they just go a bit too crazy on buying stuff. So hello and yes, welcome back to another vinyl update. And it's been a little bit of a while since I've done a vinyl update, but today I'm back with what is probably going to be the most epic vinyl update I've ever done. And I say that because I have so much cool, crazy, rare items here. It's going to be an amazing vinyl update. The only problem is I am going to have to go quite quick because I've got a huge pile of CDs there and Blu-rays, as you can see. And I've got a huge pile of records, like literally about this big. And there's just so much to show, so I am going to have to go pretty quick. But what I am going to do is I'm going to tell you guys some of the artists... Oh, sorry, pardon me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some of the artists who I've been collecting recently. So, I can give you a bit of a background on what kind of artist's records you're going to see in here. So, I've saved until the end Tom Petty, because I, I'll say this. I got complete on Tom Petty, so I have a lot of Tom Petty to show at the end. Um, Electro Light Orchestra, Fleetwood Mac, Solo Genesis. Yeah, so that's basically what I got. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot to show. However, first off, I want to do my usual. I'm going to do my VCLT first, Blu-rays, CDs. Stuff I got from a record fair, and I'm going to show the records which I got in from ordering online. So anyway, VCLT, of course, Mr. James Larpen, uh, Vinyl Collector James. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Just an epic guy here in the VC. And I just want to give him a huge shout out first off, saying congratulations on reaching 500 subscribers, dude. You completely deserve it. In fact, you deserve more than that. You deserve... 5,000. I mean, why are you not there? I mean, come on, you're letting us all down, James. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. But, um, no, fantastic guy in the VC. Um, amazing guy. And, you know, everyone knows me and him love to do our um, trading. If you guys haven't caught on by now watching either one of our channels, I don't know what you're missing here. But <laughs> So, anyway, he knew, he basically, he knew he I was on a bit of a Blu-ray kick, buying some Blu-ray music. So he really wanted to get me a music Blu-ray, but I remember me and him talking. I was like, geez, I'm not sure what one I want. And he actually picked one for me. It's by an artist which I know he loves and really um, respects. And I really don't know nothing about him, so it's really cool. Um, it's a Blu-ray called Scott Walker, The 30th Century Man. But I really don't know much about this. But um, So I haven't watched it yet, James, I'm not going to lie, but I really can't wait to find out more about Scott Walker. Um, I've seen a few clips of him online, and from what I can make out, he kind of looks like a bit of a Bob Dylan acoustic kind of guy, but I could be miles off. I could be watching the wrong videos. But um, so a few famous faces on the back there. You can see David Bowie at the top there. So David Bowie was a fan, so hey, there can't be too much wrong with this. And there's the inside, and you get a little book with it. So really nice there. So thank you so much, James. And he knows that um, I tell you know I tell James everything I buy. That's how much we chat. That's how close we are now. And um, I told him about this huge stack of CDs I got, and one of them in particular, this white one actually, I bloody loved. I I actually enjoyed it so much. And then James said, "Well, one of the vinyls which we can do is um, his greatest hits or best of. Actually, no, sorry, it's called a collection of his best songs on vinyl." And I was like, "Wow." That's amazing. So he sent me the one, the only, JJ Kale collection. Now this is beautiful, really is. Music on vinyl pressing. And for those of you who don't know who JJ Kale is, he is probably one of the best blues players ever. Inspired Eric Clapton, of course. Eric Clapton does kind of mimic him on some of his songs. Eric Clapton loves to cover his songs as well, like After Midnight, Cocaine, Rock and Roll Records. So really cool, triple vinyl, tons of songs on there. You get a little um, post like card thing in there as well with a picture of JJ on. So fantastic! So thank you so much, James. I've played this and absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. Brilliant record there, brilliant record. So that's my VCLT. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, James. Um, you know, fantastic, loved it. Um, now what I'm going to do though is Blu-rays, CDs, box set, record fair. And records I've ordered online. Cool. So, let's do Blu-rays first. So, here they come. Whip. And I've kind of put all of these in an order. Blu-rays, I've done, like, least coolest to coolest, I guess. Same with the CDs, least coolest to coolest, I guess. Whatever. I've just tried to save the better ones till last. 
Um, but anyway, first Blu-ray up is going to be Let There Be Rock, ACDC, live in 1979. John Lennon in New York City documentary. Phil Collins, live at Montrex. And these, these ones here in the thin cases are much cool, so they all have background artwork, and you get a little book in there. Phil Collins, going back. Now this one was actually really good. This one was awesome, in fact. Lindsay Buckingham. Bob Dylan, the 30th anniversary concert. And this one was actually really cool because, um, you know me, I'm not a massive Dylan fan, but I like it because a lot of other artists come on and sing his songs. Like Stevie Wonder, Johnny Cash, Roy, Ron Wood, sorry, uh, Sinead O'Connor, Neil Young, Eric Clapton, uh, George Harrison, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and of course Bob Dylan does come out at the end, and they all do a song um, together, which is really cool. And then here we've got the Bee Gees, One Night Only, fantastic. Okay, so that's it for the Blu-ray, so now let's move on to the CDs. As you can see, bought a lot. I know this seller on um, eBay who sells them all for like a pound each, so I just ordered a load from him. But anyway, they're so cool. So the first one up, taking recommendations from my videos. Um, it's someone, best album of 1977 on my list. Um, I missed this album out because I haven't heard it, and of course people are recommending it, so I do listen to you guys. I went ahead and ordered it. Um, Stevie Dan, Aja, or AJA, however you want to say it. So yeah, I thought I'd give that a try. See, I listen to you guys. Not that bad. <laughs> I'll pop that one there. Uh, just getting complete on Phil Collins because his stuff is so cheap on CD. Base value. Um, hello, I must be going. The ones that I'm missing, I already have on CD. Both sides. But seriously. And surprisingly, my favourite Phil Collins album, Going Back. Okay, then we got Stevie Wonder, 20 classic hits, love songs. Um, Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. Here we go, JJ Cow, The Best Of. Um, this one here is the worst CD design I've ever seen, though. Look at this. I mean, look, I mean... And it's gone. <laughs> That's how bad that one is, CD. Um, um, you know, how it's made, whatever, you know. But it, the music on here is amazing. Um, Robert Johnson, best of. REM, green. REM, document. Beatles, love. Surprised I didn't own that one already. Billy Joel, The Stranger. Now, I really have all of these because they're all on the greatest hits, pretty much. But I was like, it's my favourite Joel album, so I've just got to own it. The Arctic Monkeys. Now, hang on, let me make sure I get this right. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. Yeah, sure, go for that. <laughs> Peter Gabriel, So. Already have us. And then when I got So, I thought I might as well get up. <laughs> Lindsay Buckingham. This is my favourite Lindsay Buckingham album, Seeds We Sow. This is brilliant. Nice little gatefold there. Get a little book in. CD just wants to roll about in there. Get a nice little book in there as well. Okay. Eric Clapton and the Yardbirds. Um, Secretly the Blues. Eric Clapton. This one feet The re main reason I got this because it features a lot of stuff that Eric Clapton done with the Immediate All Stars, which I don't really have much of on CD. Of course, it has a lot of Yardbirds and Blues Breakers stuff as well, so really cool. 461 Ocean Boulevard. What a beast of an album. <laughs> Eric Clapton's tribute to Robert Johnson, me and Mr. Johnson. And one of the only things from Clapton which is not available on vinyl. Um, live on tour in 2001, One More Car, One More Rider. Double CD. And it could be... My favourite live Eric Clapton album, which also means, after Unplugged, obviously, which also means it could be my favourite live album ever, because Eric's live albums are just the best. Um, so that's all the CDs I ordered online. Um, there is one more, actually, but I'm going to save it till later, because it kind of ties into one of the records I got. But um, And then, 
I got a few CDs when I was at work the other day. Me and my driver, who I go out with, um, it, it, she um, decided to do a day's overtime. And, um, she, you know, I have to go in and help her. So uh, it was a 10-hour shift, so we had a long day. And she said, um, I'll buy you a CD and we can listen to it. I was like, well, sure. So anyway, went out and um, got David Bowie's Heroes. So thank you so much to my driver at work. This is awesome. Absolutely loved this album. Even the experimental stuff on the B-side was awesome. So thank you to my driver. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, so it really cool, really cool. And then I went back in the shop and I noticed they had a few other Bowie CDs. And, um, you know, that album only lasted, what, 40 minutes? And it was a 10-hour shift. So it's like, okay, we better get some more music. <laughs> so, uh, and these were all cheap, apart from the last one. Um, my favourite Bowie album, Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. And this could be my favourite album from 70, 70, what year was it? 71 or 72? Whichever year it was, it's in the running for my favourite album. And another masterpiece, and I know my friend out there, Vinyl Collector James, loves this album. Hunky Dory, amazing album, amazing. And then, of course, this one's a little bit expensive because it's new, but uh, Black Star CD. Really cool, really, really cool. So, yeah, really, really happy to have them, so... That's the CDs for this video. Pop them there. Pop the Blu-rays on top. So now I have one box set, one incomplete box set, I'll say, to show you guys. Then I've got some records from a record fair, and then the records I've been buying online. And make sure you stick around for the records I bought online, because I've got some good stuff. <laughs> so the box set, the incomplete box set, of course, is the Phil Collins. Um, take a look at me now box set which is really cool um, only two albums in there at the minute we've got face value and both sides um, but you know I've got to say the remastering they've done on this is amazing and the albums which are still yet to come of course Hello I Must Be Going No Jacket Required but seriously Darts Into The Light, Testify and they are doing Going Back so we're going to have eight vinyls in this box and you know Phil Collins I know he's not the greatest thing ever I'm not going to lie but People are way too harsh on him. That guy is so talented and he's a genius. Okay, now we're on to the records at the record fair. So, let me just kind of separate these. Here we go. So I went to a record fair with £30 and that's what I came back with, so pretty good. And um, bought two records off of one guy and all the rest come from someone else. Um, I bought Harry Nielsen, Son of Smilshan, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I do like a bit of Harry Nielsen, so I was really pleased to get that. And these two were like, that was £2, this one was like £2 as well. Um, the Christine McVie album. And I know a lot of people have been on at me for a while. Get the Christine McVie album. So hey, I've got it, I'll give it a listen soon enough. And I'm sure I'll probably get some requests to do a review on that, it's a very popular album. And before you know it, I'll probably be reviewing that one. Okay, so then all the rest come from another record dealer, and um, I done really well considering this lot only cost £25. Um, so these first two, you know me, I'm not a huge fan of this band, but I'm so close to being complete now, it's like, well, just get them. Um, Queen, this is the Flash Gordon soundtrack. So I do love the title track on that one, but the rest of the album, me. Nee. <laughs> then of course, Queen, the game. Now this is an original pressing, which I am told is a little bit tricky to come by, so I was pleased to get this. And this one has Play the Game, Another One Bites the Dust, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, Rocket, and yeah, that's about it for that album. <laughs> and then here we move on to um, Face Dances by The Who, which really isn't a very good album, but it has one song on which I absolutely love. Big surprise, it's You Better, You Bet. Just love that song. But this one has the poster, original pressing, it's really cool. And again, I'm only one album away now from being complete on The Who. Endless Wire, so you can probably expect to see that one coming in soon. <laughs> um, the Moody Blues here, On the Threshold of a Dream, has the book stapled inside, so really nice. And Mono Pressing, so really cool there. Um, the David Bowie Collection. These are all songs from his first couple albums. They're all really early songs, so pretty good for me to get to try them, I think. Now this next one, I do have an original pressing of this, but the record has a few marks on it. It's not in terrible condition, but it's not in very good condition either. It's just, I list it as average. So this one here is in beautiful condition. It's 
clearly, it's as clear as day, it's a repress. <laughs> but it's in beautiful condition, so I thought, okay, this can be my playing copy of Fleetwood Mac's Then Play On. So yeah, there it is. <laughs> but the record itself is in beautiful condition on this one, so. And then I got an original first pressing, stereo, not mono, um, of John Wesley Harding, Bob Dylan. So, yep, Dylan fans, I'm sure you're going to be pleased to see this one. Um, yeah, I'm just really slowly working my way on getting complete with Dylan, really. I don't really own... I, I don't own quite a bit on him now, I'd say, but, um, yeah, slowly getting there. And the last album, this one's really special to me. As I was walking to the dealer with all these records, I'm about to pay, so, and he's dealing with another customer, so I thought, okay, I'll just look through the soul bin. What am I going to find in the soul? But, oh my god, I picked this one album out of obscurity. Obviously, I know the artist, and obviously I like him. I never really tried a... I've only ever heard one of his albums, which was really good as well. Hot and July, it's called. Um, some hints as to who I'm talking about here. And, um, you know, I picked this album out of being, it was £6, I thought, for a double LP with a book. That's a good price. Brought it home. i tell you this, guys. If I do a video on my favourite albums of 1976, this has got it, hands down. This is the probably the best double album I've ever heard. And is now probably in my top five albums. That's how much I love this record. Songs in the Key of Life, Stevie Wonder. Oh, my God. God, what a good record. If you haven't heard this, go do yourself a favour and go check it out. This is a masterpiece. I've already been on eBay and I've already ordered like three other Stevie Wonder albums which I'm waiting to come in. Because I loved it so much. And I know, guys, some of you are probably like, how are you only just discovering this? I know I'm a bit late with that one, guys, but oh my God. If you haven't heard it, do yourself a favour. That is one of the best albums ever heard. It's like my top five albums now. Loved it. And as I say, I put a CD aside. Loved it so much, I went and ordered the CD online as well. So, absolute beast of an album. And, you know, this has um, Sir Duke, I Wish, Isn't She Lovely. Whew. I can't talk about that album anymore or else I might, or else I might faint. But, um, anyway, the next records up are all ones which I've ordered online. And the first couple I bought just to get complete on. And once we get past them, my God, there's some cool stuff. Get ready, Tom Petty fans. Get ready. You know, go get a drink. Make sure you sit back because I've got some absolutely awesome stuff to show you guys. Anyway, let's get started turning. Um, the first couple I have already shown, you know, as I say, just to get complete. Um, Zen and Alpha Robert Plant, so I can make my Robert Plant video. Billy Joel, Turnstiles. Love this album, though. This one's amazing. I've got to say, me, Mr. Mayo, hey, I'm so pleased I could um, help you get back into Billy Joel there. And, um, yeah, I, I, it's funny watching that record store video when that guy said, you know, Billy Joel was overrated. I've got to give it to you, Joe. You know, stick up for Billy. Well done, buddy. Nice one. <laughs> and then, of course, Billy's first album, Cold Spring Harbor, which kind of rare in the UK. So I was pleased to get hold of that. And here we got a 1973 reissue of Fleetwood Mac's very first album. Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. And an original first pressing, which I got for like £3, which is a complete steal of Fleetwood Mac's Killing House. So absolutely amazing there. Couldn't, couldn't believe it. And it's in beautiful condition, it really is. And finally, my copy of David Bowie's Black Star on vinyl come in. Finally, been waiting ages for this. But hey, can't complain, it came in eventually. And in here we've got my Cream Goodbye picture disc, which is really cool there. Beautiful condition as well, this. Beautiful. And probably... The coolest record I've got in this bunch, like the coolest looking one. Derek and the Dominoes is Layla, picture vinyl, on Back to Black. Yeah, one of my favourite albums ever. Easily in my top ten albums. Oof. One album. Okay, so then these next two yeah, next two records are pretty cool. I know my friend Ross Goodall is going to be pretty pleased to see these in this video because I know he's got both of these and, um, you know, me and him being such big ELO fans, it's um, kind of painful for me to look at them sometimes. It's like, oh, I want it. But, hey, finally I got it. Finally. I've been, been after both of these for a very long time. So, first one up is... 
the four light years red yellow box and oh my god you know just fitting a polythene sleeve just I got a steal on this it was like four pounds obviously five pound postage but nine pounds it's in beautiful condition literally there's like barely anywhere on the corners compared to you know because I see loads of the blue box this one here I said See absolutely loads of these, and they all have so much wear on the corners. It's kind of hard to find these without too much wear, but beautiful condition. All four vinyls in original sleeves, mint, not a hairline mark on them, with the book, amazing condition. And wow, same on this one, amazing condition, and I never thought I'd get this, never thought I'd get this. I thought I did have it for a while, <laughs> and I, you know, again, Ross got it recently, um, our good all, and um. I, I I was thought I had it. I went looking through my collection. I was like, oh no, I don't have it. So I was like, I better change that. And I found this ten pounds on Discogs. Had to take it. Jeff Lynn's lift me up the twelve inch single. You know, great twelve inch single here with um, borderline on as well, which I absolutely love. Don't know the middle track though. But sorry if you can hear my phone. <laughs> but um, yeah, so pleased to have it. Okay, so we're on the last part now. This is the last bit, the Tom Petty stuff. Oh my god, you know, I went, I found all of these so cheap. I really did, literally. Apart from the last three, which are kind of hard to get, I didn't pay over £5 for any of them. So I done so well here. I am now complete on Tom Petty, apart from them stupidly expensive ones from the 90s and early 2000s. But I got everything else now. Already have the, um, the live. Pack up the plantations live and full moon fever, obviously, and hypnotic. But now I have it as close as can be complete, I reckon. Um, now, this one isn't in great condition because it was four pounds with free postage, so I wasn't expecting it to be. But the record is in brilliant condition, so this one plays perfectly. Tom Petty's first album there, and then here we have um, You're Gonna Get It. She's in really good condition, this one. Really good. And then this here is... Um, this was a great album. Really enjoyed listening to this one. Um, Damn the Torpedoes. Fantastic record. Fantastic. And here we've got Hard Promises. Different cover in the UK. I would like to get the US cover, but it's not a big deal. I really just wanted these to hear the music. Because I've been on a huge Tom Petty kick lately. And then the next one up, I haven't really paid this one much attention yet. Um, Long After Dark, so I need to give this one a proper play and get to know that one a bit. I think, actually, it's the only one I haven't played. Um, then here, of course, Southern Accents in beautiful condition. No, actually, I tell a lie. I haven't heard this album either. Um, Let Me Up, I've Had Enough. So yeah, well, that's that's it for all the easy Tom Petty stuff. Now, the next, I've got three more records to show, and all three of these are hard to get, especially in the UK. But um, here it is, absolute beautiful condition. I only paid £20 for this. Tom Petty and Heartbreakers into the great wide open. I'm making this my fun now. Yeah, you bet I am. <laughs> so this, oh, you know, amazing condition. Really is. And um, I don't want to open it up because, as I said, I don't want the video to be too long. But what the, video, the seller also done is he's actually kept the record in a plain white um, lined sleeve. So the original sleeve doesn't get ring wear. So it's been taken care of so well. Not a hairline mark on this. Beautiful condition. I highly doubt you're going to see one in better condition than this unless it's sealed. So over the moon with that. And these next two, of course, were only printed in America. Um, so I had to... This one was the one which cost me. This this Tom Petty album cost me. Because I had to fork out and buy it direct from Amazon. So it was a little bit. But... I'm so pleased to have it. Because I played it. And honestly, I love Hypnotic Eye. But this is a better album. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Mojo. Masterpiece of a record, really is. I yeah, sorry to say, I did prefer it over Hypnotic Eye, but I really, really loved it. Fantastic album. And now we're done to what? Down to one album. What am I missing from Tom Petty after Mojo? You know, you guys are probably thinking, okay, well he's clearly got one of the really rare ones because he's got one left. Nope. This one was only printed in America, and luckily I got the last one available in the UK on eBay, Amazon, and Discogs. So there was only one left, and it was on Discogs. I snagged it up. 
I'm just gonna hold it up here. You guys are gonna be like, what? What is that? Mud crutch. What is mud crutch? Where's Tom Petty? What this is, is in 2007, I think it was 2007, Tom Petty decided to get together his old band, which he formed in 1967, and they decided to make this album in 10 days. As you can see, there he is, there's Tom, and you know, I'll say double vinyl with a CD. Where's the CD? And I'll say this, you know, this album is amazing. It really, truly is amazing. Um, absolutely loved it. And there's no mention of Tom Petty on the outside of the record. Until you look at the gatefold picture, you can't tell it's Tom Petty. But, oh my God, guys, do yourself a favour and check this record out. It is amazing. So anyway, that's it for this final update. Well, hey, pretty good one there. Very happy with my Electric Light Orchestra stuff because I'm pretty sure I've got to be complete on them now. And I'm definitely complete on Jeff Lynne now, I think. Um... Tom Petty, done. Expect to see a collections video on him soon. Other than that, well, hey, thank you for my driver at work for that CD, and thank you, James, um, for the VCLT again. It was amazing, buddy. You're the best. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you guys later. See you later. Bye. -bye.